everyone. The time is currently four minutes past nine and it's the 25th of October. <clears throat> now, I do have some um, bits and bobs that I bought today as it was payday and I haven't done one of these videos for a while. And you know, I tell fibs, I did one last time I got paid, didn't I? Anyway, this is a mix of new stuff and charity shop stuff. So, I think I'm going to start with uh, the My Little Pony stuff. So, as always, I get the um, magazine that comes out once a month. This week, you get the key rings, you get a 3D eraser. And a highlighter pen, which actually looks like a big cracker or something. So, uh, the only reason I get the magazines is because you can only get stuff like this on the magazine. So my theory is, in the future, this is what toy collectors are going to be looking for as well. Because like I said, you can only get them on the magazines. If you don't buy the magazines, you won't get them. Oh, and I found this in a charity shop as well. Which I think is a G1. Yeah, I can tell from the eyes this is a G1. Which would be from the original 1980s series. Nineteen eighty two. It's actually got the date on it for the light was bad in the charity shop so I couldn't read it, so I was just reading it now here. Nineteen eighty two eighty two Hasbro Pat Pending Hong Kong. So she is actually older than my Applejack one. My Applejack one's 1993. Anyway, more charity shop finds. Got a classic Matchbox um, Chevrolet Corvette. It's just got the date printed on the bottom. Uh, 1979, that one. As long as that's not a reproduction one, because um, sometimes Matchbox reproduce old cars, so and they still use all the old molds, so you could get one that's been released like 20 years after the original, and that still has the same date on the bottom. <laughs> but um, it's not in bad condition. I'm not a perfectionist when I collect these, as long as it's in okay condition like this, I don't mind. Um, got some LED Christmas lights. I got these ones in red because I've got blue in here going around the outside of the room, white in the hallway. I had to stop and think about that one, and blue in the bedroom. So I thought some red would be nice. I might put red up in the bedroom, I don't know yet, or I'll save these and put them on the tree. I haven't decided. Maybe I'll put these up in the bedroom actually because they've started to fall down because the sticky pads I used, um, a couple of them have come off the wall. <laughs> yeah. Depends how long this set is as well because I don't think that's as long as the one I've got in there. But I don't think that's going to be long enough for the tree. However, I'll just put that back on the shelf. <laughs> got these from the same charity shop. <laughs> All it's got on the box here, they've put a big sticker label on it, and it says flashing lights three pounds. But um, I did open the box and have a look, and this actually looks like a rather enormous set of blue <laughs> LED lights. Let's bring that back so we can get some light in there. Yeah. Um, it really does look like an enormous set. Let's actually get them. Ooh. Yeah, that's a rather big set. <laughs> I think that might go around my Christmas tree more than once. Where do I get the feeling that all of these use the same adapter? Because they do. Probably totally different brand of lights. Has it got the brand on the little control box here? Uh, 
No, it's just got some sort of Chinese name and then Electronics Co. Limited. I think that's Chinese. I'm Helpe or something like that. I can't remember. I need my magnifying glass with a light on. Is that actually at hand? Because I'm sure. Yeah, it is. Good. Here we go. I do love this thing. Oh, yeah. Lin Hai Hai Pei Electronics Co. Limited. So it is obviously a Chinese company. Uh, this is just probably a generic 24 volt power brick that comes with it. Let's have a look. Yeah. 24 volt, 200 milliamp. That's got 4.8 volt amps. I have. Hmm, never understood the volt amp bits. Let's just have a look at that one. Just chuck them down in there. They've sort of tucked that one in. I've got a funny feeling it's exactly the same. In fact, I'd say these ones were probably very cheap. This is the control box. <laughs> but I don't know what it's actually on there for because there's, there's no button or anything, you know, to change flash patterns or it. Oh, this one is actually slightly different. Um, 24 volt, 100 milliamps, 2.4 volt amps. But I think that is actually made by the same company. Because these stickers are identical, isn't they? the same company? Yeah, it is. A safety isolating transformer. I have no idea how you pronounce that. It's spelled C Z J U T A I. It's got IP20 on it. So, I'm not waterproof, but. Uh... Oh well. I think this might just be a bog standard um, steady burn red set. I want to plug them in there, but my sockets are um, covered. We'll plug them in in a bit. We'll see them all lit up. Uh, what else did I get? We'll have a look at this closer in a minute as well. An old torch. I remember seeing these brand new in Argos many years ago. When I was little, actually. That was another three pounds. This one was from the Salvation Army shop. Those sets of lights I just show, showed to you were from... The Katali shop. Uh, the pony and the matchbox car was from the brake charity shop. I've got batteries. I bought some brand new batteries to put in this, but it's one of these. It says 12 in 1, but we'll have a closer look at that in a minute and I'll put the batteries in. Oh, it takes an external power supply as well. Does that mean I can put like some rechargeable D cells in there and charge it up from a 12 volt adapter. Maybe. And from one of the newer charity shops in town, I got these, another pair of these little speakers. I've got three pairs of these now. Two of them are actually um, pretty old. I've got two that work but are very quiet, and one of the speakers has actually come off its mountings in here. Which I could easily fix, it's just a matter of undoing one screw, opening it up and just gluing the speaker back in. But I got these because they were just one pound and they're Panasonic. So I'm actually hoping these might sound a bit better than the other ones I've got. And I don't know, I haven't had them... Let's get the rubber band off and have a look. Are these ones that require some batteries? No, nope, they are just plug-in speakers. I didn't notice that. I was just looking at it and I was like, what does that look like that hinges at the top there? Because it does. <laughs> ah! There we go, that's what it's for. Will it stand? Oh, they will stand just like that as well. Let's get this stupid sticker off. I've got a few things, or two things here that I want to open as well. 
Now they had new items that I bought, so I'm going to do those last. But that'll be the first to open if I can find my pair of scissors. Right, so I need to plug those. Oh, you don't stand them up like that, do you, you pillock? Call myself a pillock, by the way. Because I thought, when you stand them up that way, and I looked, I thought, well, the Panasonic's going to be upside down. You do that with them, don't you? You sit them that way up, on the back bit. <laughs> That's how they're supposed to sit. I finally worked that out. It took me, I don't know how long. <laughs> I was down there for a minute. Right. So, the last charity shop item I got was this, and I can't remember where I got it from. Yes, I can. This was from the community shop. Uh, Call of Duty 3. Pretty certain I do not have this one in my collection. And I've also decided that uh, next year, it probably seems a bit early for me to say things like that, but it's not actually that far away, you know. But next year I'm going to um, look for some specific PS2 titles that I don't have. I didn't actually think to check the disc, what's that like? Yeah, it needs a clean, but not bad. I've seen a lot worse, and I've seen a lot worse in that play, so... Right. Later on this evening, I'm going to be building this. Just a little um, Lego set. $6.99 in Lidl's at the minute. Lidl has um, some assorted sets this size. They've got a Technic set, a Ninjago set, Two different Lego City sets, a Lego Friends set, and they're all in this sort of size box, by the way. Uh, a Duplo set. There was one more, and I've totally forgot it. Did I say the Ninjago set? I may have done. <laughs> anyway, at the moment, Lidl also are selling. I can't remember what the price was on these. I think it's about the same price as the Lego. Well, they were five ninety nine. I can't remember, but anyway, these five car gift packs, Matchbox. Now it's been absolutely years since I've actually bought a single brand new Matchbox car, let alone a pack of five. I can't remember the last time I bought a five pack. Actually, probably back when they were still four ninety nine. You know, a pound for each car. But not now. So, this is what I want to open. I bought this one. Well, I've obviously got a different selection. I bought two packs here, but I bought this one. Because I do actually like the cars that are in this one. The others, not so much. There's a construction one. I wasn't... That didn't really, you know, tickle my taste buds, as it were. So I didn't bother with that one. Um... And there's a couple of others. I might have another look tomorrow if I'm bored just to see if there's another one. But other than that, I just bought these two because they're the ones that, you know, I like the look of. So, we're going to open them because I'm a rebel. You know, I'm not one of these that, I do like keeping some in a butt in them. The packaging, like I've got hanging up in the bedroom already. But I also like to actually be able to hold them and get a good look at them. So, we've got a hearse. I've already got this in black. So I've just done a sort of a fancier paint job on this one. And I don't know if you can see that, but it's got a real dark, deep purple windows on it. Oh yeah, you can see it like that. That's actually quite a nice colour. I like that. But uh, Dark purple is one of my favourite colours. And um, this is actually the main reason I bought this set. 
for this police car. Where is it, does it say? It is a 1956 Buick Century. Yeah, and I love the centre caps on these. Isn't that gorgeous? That's a nice looking little model. I like that. Then I, I don't have to look at this one, I know what it is. It's an E type Jag. No, it's being a pain to get out of there. E type Jaguars are not my favourite. Jaguar, but that is a nice looking little model. It's got 65 written on it. Matchbox 65. That's what we get. Ah, oh, so this one is the Matchbox 65 year anniversary. Nice little E type Jaguar. And below that. We've got Dodge Viper. Now they've actually made several of these, or released several over the years, I should say. Uh, so this is probably still got it's an RT10. This one. Yeah. <laughs> See, this is brand spanking new. I bought it today, right? And on the bottom here, the manufacture date is 1994. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> So um, that just proves my point, doesn't it? You know, they reproduce the old ones sometimes. That is a nice shade of red, though. Look at that. Not nice. I like that red. And the last one in the pack. I'm going to say that's a Chevy truck. It's got something on the door that I'm going to have to use the magnifying glass to read. Isn't that nice? Again, hubcaps as well. But this is... I'm just going to double check that. I think that's a 56 Ford. Yep, 56 Ford pickup. 2018, this one's got written on it. So that is actually, a, obviously, a brand spanking new mould. Or casting, I should say. There's much. What does it say on the door? Has it got Ford on the back? It has, hasn't it? Yeah. Ford on the back. Ah, oh, I should. Oh, if only I had the money, I'd go and get another pack of these. Just because it says Moon Equipment Company. Because one of my best friends, his surname is Moon. So. God, there's something written under that, and it's so tiny. Moon Equipment Co. Speed Shop. Oh my god. I don't even think I could get a picture of that to show him. Ooh. You know, it's not until you actually look at one of these Matchbox cars through something like this that you actually realise just how much detail they put into this. I mean, it's got Ford on the back there. It's got the little taillights sticking off this edge. Um, it's actually got a painted door handle on it. And painted hood catches. It's got the headlights, the grill. Mind you, through the grill, can you see that? You can see the rivet post that holds it together. That's a bit of a downside, I think, on this casting, because it looks ugly to me, but... Still, you know, and I've put all that... ...writing on the side as a grill. There is actually a vent. I don't know if it's going to come up the camera, but where my finger is, right in front of it, there is a vent. There's also one just on the window there, in front of the windscreen. So much detail. I mean, as a kid, I never paid attention to detail like that. I just like the car. <laughs> but as an adult, I find I actually pay more attention to such detail like that. That is actually a very nice truck. And I am tempted to get another set of these just for that truck.
What is this one? I didn't actually tell you what this one was, did I? 1963 Cadillac 2017. Made in Thailand. Yeah, that's where a lot of uh, Matchbox cars are made these days. What was this one? Was this Macaw or something? Or Macau? I don't know how it's pronounced. Yeah, it is. Made in Macaw. Matchbox Super Kings, I think. Super fast, that's it, not Super Kings. Super Kings were the bigger models, hence the name. Right, so I've actually got one more here. We're going to open before we're going to shoot off. I don't need scissors, do I? Because I managed to open the last box without them. <sighs> Matchbox Rescue, this one. Let me in! This is going to be an interesting one, I think. It's a pity they didn't have like a fire or an ambulance one, because I'd have definitely had that as well. Right. So, I've got a five car gift pack, but in reality we've only got four vehicles, because we've got a little trailer up here. And this actually intrigued me as well, because I want to know what it was. See? I've got this. Well, I'm not sure what it does, but this thing rotates around. This looks like something that might be found on an American road. Are there any American viewers that could clarify that? I've never seen anything like this on UK roads. It's very well detailed though. Look at the back. <laughs> you can see all the lights and everything. And it says 25 at the top there. Speed underneath this yellow thing. But there's nothing printed on it. So, I'd <laughs> Or is that? Hang on. Where's that? Oh, there is numbers printed on it. It's just because of the colour of the plastic, it's hard to see. Very hard to see. And to be honest, the plastic moulding itself in there isn't brilliant. That's a let down on this one. Because, I mean, the way the overall trailer actually looks is great, but that little plastic thing here that rotates, that's not very good. Moulding could have been a bit better, and the writing, they perhaps should have painted some a bit of black paint on them just to make the numbers stand out because like this I can't see anything on it I'm going to be intrigued to know if any of these police vehicles in here actually have a tow bar on <laughs> but you get basically the common types of um, police vehicles in them I'm going to actually before I continue, I'm pretty certain this is American based now just looking at the police vehicles in here because there's not one British based one in here, they're all American based. So, we've got a very nice, ooh, there's a, a fair bit of weight to that, it's a very nice uh, motorcycle. Just got State Trooper written on the panniers. That is nice. And like I said, there is a fair bit of weight to that. That surprised me. I thought, ah, it's a motorbike. It's not going to weigh that much. Um, then we've got a police car. That's a very nice moulding. It's got State Trooper on the fender. Texas Department Public Safety. Texas Highway Patrol. And the car is... A Dodge Charger Pursuit. There it is. Look at that. That's a nice little motor. It's even got the nudge bars on the front there. Or push bars. I always call them nudge bars. But I think they're also called push bars. I don't claim to be an expert of any type. <laughs> That's nice. I like that. Some nice detailing in there as well. 
So I'm just going to have a... Wow. I don't think I can show you this on camera, but there is actually a computer in the centre console. They've... I'm going to put this up to the lens, but I'm... I don't think we're going to be able to see in there. I might be, I'll have another go later, but there is actually, there's a lot of police cars now, I don't know if they do here, but in America they've, you know, they've got the computer thing, laptop thing that sits between both front seats. That is actually in there. Stuff me, is that? No, it's not going to be the gear stick, is it? This will be an automatic. Quite a well detailed steering wheel in there as well. Rear seats have the headrests. I'm looking through the passenger window. That's impressive. And there's also something on the dashboard. I'm not sure what that is. Dash cam, maybe? I'll have to get some a better light or something. Next up. have a 2015 Dodge Ram 2015 Mattel big bars on it you can see it's got the same type of window colour as the police car the M sort of dark transparent ones it's got the light bar on the roof as well I'm not sure if that is actually like an unmarked police vehicle or um, like a personal fire vehicle or something. I'm going to lean towards probably an unmarked police vehicle because it's got the gigantic push bars on the front of that as well. The other one is actually, it's, um, this is going to probably have a 1980 something date on the base. Because I've got a couple of these which were made around about that era. It's a Jeep. Again with them state trooper on this has actually got blue windows on so it's got blue light bar. But uh Oh no, they actually changed it. It's got 2017 on it. <laughs> well, that's a first. But it actually Oh yeah it does. Jeep Cherokee. Do you know when I was younger I used to call it Cherokee. It took me ages to realise uh, it actually said Cherokee, not Cherokee. <laughs> but uh, that is it for those I guess the only other thing I've got to do is stick some batteries in that torch I need a bit of room for that though so I'm going to move you back a bit I like so I'm going to move you around I like so and get rid of that out of the way like so well I couldn't do that again if I tried It's actually broken the model it landed on. Right. Oh well, poo! I can't get to the bag of batteries. Because they're right behind you. Bear with me a uh, one moment, please. Hang on, guys. I've got to move you. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Right, I'll put you back. There we go. So, it actually takes six of these. So there's two, four, six. And I was getting low on these for one of my bike lights, so I had to get some double A's. And while I was at it, I thought I'd just get... A, oh, that's actually come open. Somehow that one's opened up, but I've got a pack of triple A's as well. So... What is it? It's a multi-purpose fluorescent lantern. That's what they call this. My John Light. JML. Uh, with spotlight, twin blinker and automobile cigarette lighter plug. Capable to recharge when inserted with nickel cadmium batteries. It's got the same written on there, just in different languages. 
yeah, and some photoshopped pictures. Look, it's the exact same torch, just stuck in every photo. That's all they've done. Uh, features spotlight, fluorescent lantern, single flasher, twin flasher, spotlight and single flasher, fluorescent lantern and single flasher. Uses six times UM1 size D batteries. Using automobile cigarette lighter plug to charge. NICAD rechargeable batteries. Shut up, you. <laughs> Using AC to DC adapter for lighting function. You got a limp again. I think anyone's got a limp again. Uh. Using automobile cigarette lighter plug for charging and lighting function at the same time. Using AC to DC adapter for charging and lighting function at the same time. Red LED indicates recharging and helps locating the lantern in the dark. Adapter, batteries, NICAD batteries, oh, and NICAD batteries are not included. A lot of information. Unless the cigarette lighter plug thing is actually hidden in this, inside this, it ain't there. So, how do we get this off? Ah, we twist. This hasn't ever been used because the cardboard insert to tell you which way to put the batteries in is still in there and. So is the cigarette lighter plug. Right. This is going to be fun, isn't it? Why? Why do they make batteries such a pain in the friggin' ass to get out of the packets? Right, so... I was expecting them to slide down smoothly, but they didn't. I think this is sort of water resistant. I wouldn't say it's waterproof. But definitely water resistant. Another one in that side, another one in that side, so I just want the last two. I'm not very keen on Panasonic batteries, but these ones actually seem to be okay. It's just that I've had some types of Panasonic battery that go flat rather quickly, so I'm not been fond of them. That works. <laughs> Switch is already in the on position for that. Right. So that is totally off. So we've got the red flasher. But for some reason. This is only. Oh, there we go. Funny. Ah. That might help. Ah, there we go. I think we've got a bit of a dirty switch. Let's just. Gonna have it in the right position. I actually like that alternate. Single flash for red. Ah, you can't have the spot. That's not actually a bad spotlight. Yeah, I think I've fixed the twin flash now. Mm. 
you can only use single flash when that is on. It won't let you uh, see as soon as I put the twin flashes on. It won't let the fluorescent light up. Ah! You actually have to flick it to the charging position. There's a little switch there. Yeah, that's a not bad beam on that. I'll turn you around so you can see. It's not actually bad. I don't know what the fluorescent light is like. It's a bit too bright around here. So, that's what I was going to do. Um, we're going to have a look at those other lights, won't we? Is there any way to move that out a bit, unplug that, and I can just access the socket, that's all I want to do. Right, so, I've got the red ones here. I'm presuming they were actually test, you know, tested and checked they worked. They were electrically tested, because they've got the past stickers on. It's just a, a nice little red set. I'm not sure I know what trio might stick those on. So that's nice. Where's my big set gone? Righty ho then, so yeah, this one's multifunction because it's got the button on it. Plug them in. They're actually quite bright. Uh, I'm not going to show you that because uh, flashing lights. Oh, that's better. I can show them now. We've got static. That I don't mind. That's the sort of thing I would like. Or something like that, you know, a slow flash. The fade in and fade out one. It's another favourite of mine. Oh, we've been through them all then. Oh, that one is a little. I thought they were broken for a second there. Don't actually know what I'm going to do with these ones. I don't actually know how long these ones are. Might put them on a tree. I actually can't remember what I've already got up there. So. <laughs> uh. Yay! More rubbish to clean up as well. I'm going to find a box because I've got a box of stuff I want to... Uh, um, an item that I want to post. <laughs> Only one vehicle in that emergency pack has a tow bar and the tow bar is too high. It says Texas Highway Patrol on the panniers on that motorbike. Right, I think that's going to be it for this video. So, thanks a lot for watching everyone. Don't forget, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And I will talk to you all again soon. Bye.